welcome back to another episode of Physics with Noshir Alam, and I am happy to announce that I will be covering AS electricity with you in the next few videos, in the next few episodes, and um, and then I'll come back to SHM, which I had left in the middle. <coughs> now, with AS electricity, the first thing is current. And the fact that you derive current or define current as the rate of flow of charge. So current is charge per unit time. And then charge can be written as N into E over T where N is the number of electrons. E is the charge on one electron, which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. And T is the time taken to move the charge between those two points. Now, <clears throat> you can uh, very easily derive Q is equals to IT because if I skew over T then Q is equals to IT. You must understand that charge ke unit coulomb hote hai, current ka unit ampere hota hai or time ka unit second hota hai. Now, once you have an understanding of this, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is that we have a wire, okay? That wire has a length L and you've applied a voltage V across the wire. It's called potential difference we get there. Now you know that this is the positive terminal, hence this is the positive terminal, this is the negative terminal, hence this is the negative terminal. Electrons are negatively charged, so they will accelerate towards the positive terminal. Now <coughs> we'll define a quantity which is small n and small n I should call as charge density. Charge density small n is defined as the number of electrons per unit volume. Volume kiska? Wire ka. So small n which is charge density is defined as the number of electrons per unit volume you must understand the wire has a base area A on both sides and the length is L. So you can very conveniently write the volume as area into length. That's your volume. And the number of electrons, as we had previously described, were capital N. So capital N would therefore become equal to N times A times L. Please remind yourself that this small n is the charge density. Charge density ka unit, please remember, is m minus 3. Why is it m minus 3? The reason is, look, number of electrons, number of anything, no unit. Ko unit nahi hota. Volume ka unit hota hai meter cube. So agar aap usko par leke jayenge, to ban jayega m minus 3. So charge density ka unit hota hai m minus 3. <coughs> so charge density is m minus 3, area is meter square, length is in meters, and you'll get number of charges. Now, once you get the number of charges through this formula, you should understand the fact that current John the Peter drive Gyata was <coughs> capital N into E over T, right? And then capital N can be written as small n into A, into L, into E, over T. Or, is ko jab simplify karenge, you can write this as I is equals to N A. Look carefully. Ye jo length over time. This is the length of the wire and T is the time. This gives you drift velocity. VD stands for drift velocity speed with which the electron is drif drifting towards the positive terminal and E is the charge on the electron itself. Very important formula, 
ये डिराइव करने को आता है आई इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू ए इन टू वी डी इन टू ई वी डी इज डि फिलोसफी प्लीज ट्राई टू रिमेंबर द फाइनल इक्वेजन किस तरह एन का यूनिट होगा एम माइनस थ्री एरिया का यूनिट होगा मीटर स्क्वायर वी डी विल बी ऑबियसली मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड ई इज द चार्ज ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड कूलम्स सो आपके पास ऑटोमेटिकली ये सब कुछ कट कट के इवेंचुअली कूलम बच जाएगा और सेकेंड बच जाएगा और कूलम ओवर सेकेंड इज करंट डोंट फू गेट सो वंस दिस इक्वेजन इज क्लियर दिस डेरिवेशन विल कम इन द एग्जाम एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला एक्चुअली देखो लेट्स राइट इट डाउन अगेन आई इज इक्वल टू एन ए अब मैं इसको वी ई लिखता हूँ बट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी इज एक्चुअली डर फिलासफी इफ आई एज्यूम दैट आई हैव अ वायर ओके एंड आई नैरो डाउन द एरिया ऑफ दैट वायर लाइक दैट सो ओवर हियर आई हैव अ क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ए वन एंड ओवर हियर आई हैव अ क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ए टू एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड इन द सेम circuit so they're connected in series so two pieces of wire one wire is um, slightly thick the other is slightly thin and the question is that the current you know is going to flow from here to here and but the question is would the current be the same of course the current would be the same because they are in a series circuit so the current remains the same to phir kya fark padega how can the current be the same ye wahan pe the wire is thick ye wahan pe wire is thin how can the current be the same try to understand from the equation above so we said that the current will be constant n number of charges that that are moving constant because it's one wire e is also a constant ye to charge on electron hota hai so basically area into speed is equals to a constant does that make sense because current ke niche jab ye wala n aayega कॉन्स्टेंट और कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट आ गया ई वाला ये भी नीचे आ जाएगा तो ये पूरी चीज कॉन्स्टेंट बन गई एंड ए वी इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट दैट मीन्स दैट एरिया इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट ओवर वी सो दैट मीन्स एरिया मस्ट बी इन वर्स पोर्शल टू वी मीनिंग वॉट मीनिंग के इफ योर एरिया इज लार्जर योर वी विल बी स्मॉलर विच मीन्स एरिया वन वॉज लार्जर तो यहाँ पर जो स्पीड वी वन है वो कम होगी एरिया टू वो स्मॉलर तो यहाँ पर जो स्पीड स्पीड से वो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूव कर रहे हैं वो स्पीड ज़्यादा होगी दे फोर द करंट विल रिमेन द सेम बिकॉज जब वो ज़्यादा थिकनेस में से गुजरते हैं वेन दे पैस थ्रू अ ग्रेटर थिकनेस दे मूव एट अ स्लोअर स्पीड वेन दे मूव थ्रू अ स्मॉलर थिकनेस दे मूव एट अ हायर स्पीड द अमाउंट ऑफ करंट दैट इज गोइंग थ्रू रिमेन द सेम बिल्कुल वही गाल एग्जाम्पल है अगर आपने कभी देखा हो माली को पानी देते हुए या आपने खुद कभी पानी दिया हो टू द प्लांट्स यू मस्ट सीन द पाइप दैट वी यूज उस पर एक पानी का कॉन्स्टेंटली एक फ्लो बाहर आ रहा होता है सो द कॉन्स्टेंट फ्लो ऑफ वाटर कमिंग आउट ऑफ दैट पाइप इफ यू स्क्वीज द पाइप अ बेट वॉट हैपन्स द स्पीड ऑफ द वाटर इंक्रीज इट्स लॉट ऑफ वन यू शुड ट्राई इट द स्पीड ऑफ द वाटर इंक्रीज वाई बिकॉज यूर स्क्वीजिंग द एरिया पीछे से पानी का फ्लो रेट तो वही है पानी पानी तो नहीं रुक रहा पीछे से सो देर फोर If you lower the area, the speed will increase. If you increase the area, the speed will decrease. All right. So once you've understood this concept of area and speed being inversely related, um, this se bhot important questions aate hain. Just me say, a question yeh hota hai ki dekhe. If you understand that area and speed have an inverse relation, then Area one into speed one must be equal to area two into speed two. And if you've been following my lectures, I think I've done this relationship quite a few times. So pressure is inversely proportional to volume, for example. So P one V one, P two V two. Usi tarah area is inversely proportional to speed. Then A one V one, A two V two. So in the question, they can ask you to find out the ratio of the speed. Maybe if they ask you to do that, then V one or V two would be equal to A two over A one. Right, and that's one relation. Very useful. Could be asked. Another relation that could be asked is that um, they could give you the diameter of uh, both the wires. So diameter one and 
diameter 2. So same question, this time instead of giving you the area, the cross-sectional area, cross-sectional area is the area of the circle and cross-sectional area is the area of this circle. Now instead of giving the cross-sectional area, they end up giving you the diameter of this circle, D1 and the diameter of the circle, D2, and they ask you to find out the ratio of the speeds. Nothing much that you have to do besides the fact that uh, V1 would be equal to pi D2 squared divided by 4, and niche V2, nihabe bhi pi D1 squared divided by 4, or then you simply keep on cancel, but area is pi D, area is um, pi D squared by 4, right? Pi R squared, say. So, the pi's and the 4's will get cancelled. So, V1 or V2 would be equal to D2 square over D1 square. Another relationship, very important. Both of them can be used to find out the ratio of the drift velocities in two wires. Alright? Um, I'm trying to keep it very short uh, my doctor has advised me not to speak at all but i'm not following his advice completely um so let's keep it till here and i'll see you in the next class all right please do all my other kega thank you very much